Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to determine rivet size using a rivet measuring gauge. These gauges can come in handy for diameter, grip length, and trade size, which are the main measurements you'll need to figure the size of a rivet. For example, this rivet we have here is 5 30 seconds diameter and has a trade size of 54. That equates to a grip length of 3 16 through quarter inch. Grip length is the thickness of material rivet can effectively fasten. For example, you're attaching two pieces of quarter inch metal. You'll need a rivet with a minimum grip of half inch. Here on my desk, I have some miscellaneous rivets, and today I'm gonna to be using our exclusive boltsandnuts.com gauge to determine their exact size. If you don't have a rivet gauge, ours is inexpensive and can be purchased directly from our website or from the link listed below in the description. Let's take a closer look at the gauge and I'll show you how to use it. All right. This gauge may look confusing at first, but it's actually very simple. Looking at the bottom, we have a five inch ruler. On the side here, we have five holes, which are used for measuring the rivet body diameter. Up top, we have these slots, which are gonna give us the trade size, which we can use to calculate the grip length, and these center holes, which are used for measuring rivet nuts. The first measurement we're gonna to wanna to calculate is the rivet body diameter. So I'm going to take a rivet here, and this part right here is the rivet body. It's the circular cylinder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the right side of the gauge here, and we're going to start sticking it in the holes to see where it fits best. Okay, it doesn't fit in the four. When I put it in size six, it's kind of loose. Try size five here. Fits right in. It's nice and snug like a puzzle piece. So this is a size five rivet body. The next size we're going to want to measure here is the grip length. This gauge is going to give us trade size, which we're going to use to calculate the grip length after we figure out what it is. So knowing that this was a size 5 rivet, we're going to come over to the size 5 slot here, which is 5 30 seconds diameter, and we're going to take the rivet, rivet body end, we're going to just stick it in there and see how far it comes down, not including the dome there. So this comes down to approximately a 54. So we know this size here is a 54 trade size. Now to figure out what grip length that is, we've created this super easy to use rivet size identification chart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for trade size. I'm gonna come down to 54. And we can see it was 5, 30 seconds, number five, rivet diameter, trade number 54. This rivet here is gonna have a 3 16 through quarter inch grip length. If you don't have a reference chart, this exact sheet can be printed or saved directly from our website. I've listed the link below down in the description. Let's do another rivet here for comparison. Again, the first thing we're going to want to figure is the body diameter of this rivet. So we're going to stick it in the holes here, figure the first one it fits in. Perfect. This is a size 8 rivet. Now the next thing we want to figure again is the trade size where we can calculate the grip length. So I'm going to come over to the number eight size. This is a quarter inch rivet. Stick it in here. See how far it comes down, not including that dome. And I can see that this one here is an 86. I'm going to come over to my reference chart here again. I'm going to come down 86, 86, and I see it is a quarter inch, so that's correct. This rivet is going to have a quarter inch through three eighths inch grip length. Now the last piece of this gauge, uh, these holes here, these are used for determining the diameter of a rivet nut, sometimes called a rib nut or sometimes called blind threaded inserts. So what we're going to do here, this is very simple. We're just going to do the same thing, stick it in the holes here, figure the first one it fits in. You want it to fit in snug. So this fits perfectly in the quarter 20. This is a quarter 20 coarse thread rivet nut. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us directly or post them in the comments below. We at boltsandnuts.com stock all different types of rivets which can be found from our web store from the link below in the description. Please like and subscribe for more fastener content. Thank you for watching.